Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are going to talk about how to uh, run Docker applications in the browser. So now the Docker is providing that in a great opportunity where we can run that in uh, all Docker applications along with a swarm as well uh, in 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 you know, in a browser itself. But uh, due to that in uh, limitations of a time and you cannot uh, make your uh, data and files persistent. But yes, for learning purpose, this is one of the great way. Uh, without installing anything, you can and run in your local system so what we need we need your like in a uh, you have to sign up in github uh, like in a free you know and so just sign up if you have not done and if you want to more detail for sign up and uh, you can follow that in previous uh, uh, lecture and what you have to just type that play with a docker online and you will be see that in link something like that labs dot play hive hyphen with hyphen docker.com just click on it you'll be see that in a skins like that uh, you know we are really asking that in logging and there is options called like in docker so i have already created my uh, docker hub account and uh, i'm signing with that account and click on the sign in so once you'll do that in sign in we'll get the um, um that button converted into the start and you can see that in further details about that uh, uh you know and once you'll click that in a start uh you'll be see that in you know options like in uh, four hours these sessions will be uh, like in a life after that in whatever servers and all is there it will be wiped up and you know you can close the sessions and we have an instance uh, like in add new instance you have a different setting as well once you'll click that in add new instance uh, one new node will be added and this node you can uh, uh, connect from that in a local pc uh, and with this port uh, ip address uh, you can um, you know uh, communicate from one uh, uh, like in a uh, host to another this is one way you can add, add that in another uh, instance as well and but but it's just adding that in a node 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 uh, there is a here you can just type that in already pre install and back everything is there you are not uh, going to do anything let's say doc docker hyphen v and docker so you'll be see that in client and all other versions as well so it's uh, having that in pre install same thing you can do that in here also Yeah. So now in browser we are getting that in a server where you can type that in docker command and see that in all test Another options we have like in just copy this, uh, you know You can right click and copy uh, Open the uh, bitbucket uh, Git bash, sorry and uh, you know you can do that in some temp directory if you have like and i'm in that in temp and uh, just do that in ssh so it will be connect to that in your uh, uh, local uh, pc as well now and in this editor you can do that in whatever command you want uh, which is easy compared to that in a browser but uh, still that will be also available until uh, this time so now we got that in uh, the another server third options we are like in uh, let me quit this one uh, because we want to see that in other options uh, close it so let me delete this one so that instance deleted oh, that is also deleted here we have a options uh, to run that in a docker followed by that in swarm as well so it's saying that in one manager and one worker yeah so here we'll see that in a more flavor five managers and uh, no workers so all are the managers only three managers and two workers you know so we'll see that in why all this is needed in more detail so let's say like in higher end i'm using that in three uh, managers and two workers so it's running the template and you'll be see that in a five servers over here 
manager 1 manager 2 manager 3 worker 1 and worker 2 and all are on and we can see that in you know uh, all five uh, instances is up so in all will be have that in it you know docker will be installed and uh, you can see that in the manager also yeah so by default it's installed so what is happening it's a uh, creating a container inside the container and the availability will be there for uh, uh, four hours so we'll not see more than that because we are not aware about that in more than docker uh, hyphen v so don't worry about that and this is the one of the way where we can go and run that in our applications uh, directly into that in you know browser and let me do that in one quickly uh, so do you see docker run hello hyphen hello hyphen world so this is the another command you can uh, uh, see that uh, let me open that in this one so select it and copy mm, git bash And here we have uh, what? Best. Yeah. So DOC Docker run hello hyphen hello world. So it's created like in a uh, uh, from hello world and this message so that your installations appear to be working correctly to generate this message docker took that following step first step the docker client content are uh, the docker daemon the docker daemons pull that in hello world image from that in docker hub the docker hub daemon created new container from that in image to run and so and so forth and you can see that in uh, here the example is that like in uh, it's there into that in getting started so there is nothing required just we have to create that in uh, uh, the instance and uh, until four hours you can play with uh, this instance and you can run that in all those uh, example you know and uh, I can say that that's all about in these lectures because video is going half uh, like in you know uh, long time we'll see that in these options if needed in more once we'll start that in uh, uh, like in docker followed by that in swarm but this ones I have some limitations I'll let you know you know and thanks for watching